Craster. Is it Iger? I believe it is Iger. All right, we're gonna go with Iger then. <laughs> I think this ooh Torquil Gates as our as our game one. <laughs> Let's see. The Rano Raster matchup. Shout out to Bradshaw, my favorite Radster skin. I mean, oh. Raster's not your favorite Raster skin? Oh. No. <laughs> this matchup have the young. is definitely uh, not my favorite. Um, it's I fairly even, though, for both characters, as Rano gets those. Uh, Gets those um, sweet spot up strongs uh, uh, fairly quickly, but wow, Raster definitely about? has the resources to just kind of keep Rano in the air, and Ooh. Needle Fair is gonna do it, taking off that first stock. Yeah, I was gonna say this is kind of a, a big example of. Oh, not dead yet. Oh wow, the bait with the down special. Iger getting hit by it. Uh, I think this is very much a matchup of ground character versus air character, uh, even though um, Rano's uh, a water character, but you didn't hear that here. <laughs> uh, Jason, not gonna be able to find that wall jump off of that dive kick though. Right. These two characters definitely kind of swing at each other from an outside perspective. We do just kind of swing at each other a lot. Yeah. But it's all about the spacing of how you're swinging at your opponent and with what move. Not dead. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, that is dead. I believe I thought they had or thought he had more jumps. Yeah. Jab three Whoa. into clap? Who does it? Who does that? I've never seen that before. Who does that? That's what I'm talking about. The classic side beam to down beat from Iyer. Last stock for both these players. Iger getting so much damage, not quite finding the stock. And now... Jason firing back, getting some damage. Both these players want game one so badly, but Jason got needle fair. And just like that, Iger loses game one and Jason uh, takes it. Alrighty, game two going to Neo Jules Vale. Okay, I'm kind of here for it. Such a pretty stage. It really is. You know, this is a, a hot take. I actually prefer regular Jules Veil. Vale. I don't blame you. I also prefer regular Jules Veil. Vale. I know. Uh, Jason, securing that stock it's at 50%. <laughs> that was such a, an early stock. Ooh, but that is fair, definitely something you kind of want to normalize versus uh, Raster. F tilt. Oh, but not finding the clap. Uh, I think Jason knew that Iger likes to go for those uh, grounded moves into claps on platforms as a tech chase and was able to get the parry out in time. Ooh. Amazing DI to live that clap though. Oh, F tilt into oh, there, no. and now Jason sits three stocks to one against Iger. Iger needs to figure out what's going wrong here and find this stock, but Jason's really starting to run away with it. I like that uh, that hop over the slipstream, loving these hit fall upper ones. Iger, however, is going to clap back with that slipstream clap. Let's take the stock. F strong, and that's game two going to Jason. I don't think I ever reached triple digits in that game. I think you might be right. 
Like, Iger just kind of got deleted, like, very quickly. But that's what you just kind of have to do to fight when you're fighting Rasta. You gotta delete him really quick. Yeah. And now Jason up two games to zero against Iger, going to, uh, excuse me, Spirit Tree for game three. Loving this uh, combo right now. Zero to 37, nothing to scoff at. But Raster can instantly uh, clap back with more. Zero to 50. Oh no. oh no, that was so sad. Up tilt bear finds a stock. Uh, Iger just seems like he's kind of swinging right now and it's, it's not working. Jason Iger's just definitely has to the counterplay, and Iger is really struggling to find his own footing. I think Iger has definitely got to um, start to focus on getting more of these uh, hits in neutral, and got to try to definitely find those confirms. Jason gonna parry that dash attack. Let's see, we've got a bubble punish, mm. and that's gonna take that stock with that back air. Yeah, that bear just as the bubble pops, and now Iger on his tournament stock. If there was ever a time to clutch up, it was now, but are we going to see the reverse 3-0, or is Jason just going to take it? I loved that Nair, throwing out a long-lasting hitbox to kind of uh, deactivate the slipstream. Yeah, Nair seems like a very good move to use against Raster in this matchup. Up tilt, up tilt again. Not quite gonna kill, but Iger still swinging. Finally finds that first stock, 80%. Feels like any stray hit could be enough to take the stock. Jason on the brink of advancing into losers round three. Okay, Iger uh, slightly clapping back this game. Okay, down strong, not gonna find it smart. Tornado is the recovery. Not the safest recovery tool that Raster has. Nope. Especially not when you've used it for the fourth time in a row, but... Yeah, I do it all the time, but I have to be near the wall because you, they're, <sighs> the hitboxes are around you and not on your head, and Jason gonna find that back air, winning 3-0. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Iger just seemed to kind of flounder in this matchup. Just straight up didn't know how to respond to Jason's pressure. And yeah, Jason going to be advancing into the next round of losers. And meanwhile, we are going to be going to losers round three on the other side. We got Aichi versus Revelo. The brothers, they must fight. <laughs> 